My name is Max. I'm an engineer here at Crystal Fonts. Today we're going to be plugging a 735 into a Raspberry Pi, um, running XBMC in the background to use the 735 for the now playing information. Um, so what I've done here is set up two um, remote sessions into the Pi. Its name is Quicksilver. So the first thing we're going to do is install LCD proc, which just comes right out of the repositories, no edits needed for that. Then once that's installed, it's going to install LCD D, which is going to be the front end daemon for it. Um, I have a second terminal here that I'm just using, it's easier to work between two screens. Um, I'm going to find out what my Raspberry Pi, or I'm sorry, my uh, 735, which port it's on. So what I'm going to do back in my first window is um, edit the LCD daemon to uh, be the right settings. Now I've done this before, so the settings are already in here, but the things to note are the driver needs to be set to CFONTS packet. And then I'm going to jump down to that in the config file to the CFONTS packet entry. I'm going to set it to the 635. This is going to stay the same whether you're using a 635, 735, or 835. All three models use the same uh, driver set for now. I'm going to set the device appropriately to ACM0 so that it knows which one to talk to. And uh, save and exit that. Then I'm going to uh, restart the LCD daemon on the box here. Oops. Forgot to restart it. Then what we should see over on the 735 is that the server is running and talking to it. So we're good to go. So the next thing to do over on the XBMC running Pi is uh, look for the actual LCD daemon uh, toolkit, basically. Should find this one. That is our guy. Click on it, click install. Takes just a minute while it pulls all the stuff down and does that. When it's ready, you should see an add on enabled. And then you should see it connect and start to tell you what XBMC is doing. The lines that are on here are used, uh, are defined in the LCD proc library and can be configured to be different things. But the default are to uh, show the video of what is uh, current, how long, the name of it, and then some description stuff. It's all just the defaults. So basically, that's it. That's how you get it all set up and configured. This wraps up our tutorial on integrating a Crystal Fonts CFA735 with a Raspberry Pi running XBMC. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or shoot an email to support at crystalfonts.com and we'll get back to you.